Yikes. Yikes. That mm, is probably the most negative reaction that I have received to any video I have ever done. Ever. Probably. I mean, I think that even tops that one uh, short video in the middle of the La Mulana LP where I'm hopping back and forth, tooth-spittingly mad, talking about how Naramura is the personification of Satan's shit. <laughs> I don't think I received even as negative a reaction from that as I did for me complaining about words, words, words. And indeed, the more I talk about it, the more I'm starting to feel like that crazy solitary hobo standing on a soapbox in the middle of town square who's screaming at the top of his lungs about how the government needs to pay for us to have metal plates installed in our brains so we can resist the sodomy impulses that come from the evil demon aliens of the planet Garblaxicon Z5. Or, you know, something equivalently batshit crazy like the Old Testament. But what this is making me think is maybe I need to change the mindset at which I come, for, come from when approaching this game. Because people told me, in voluminous quantity, UD, don't LP this game. Seriously, you will hate it. It is mostly words. It is mostly talking. It is mostly text-based puzzles. It is mostly minigames. It is mostly fetch quests. Now... This is going to force me to reevaluate my idea as to what a Zelda game is, because the idea that that would be a Zelda game is so just the absolute antithesis of what my understanding of the series was. Granted, my understanding of the series was limited to two, two apparently minority games, and those minority games apparently don't reflect the rest of the series as a whole, except maybe for the very first one on the NES. That's, that's, that's shocking to me that people would, you know, allow that kind of content under a Zelda brand and just find it acceptable. Be, okay, we're happy about this just because it has the Zelda brand name on it, even if it's not in any way the same kind of game. That's, that's just mind-blowing to me. But apparently I have to change my mindset. I have to change my mindset to one of an excavator or a spelunker, a miner, because the excavator is not pissed off that 99.999% of the material that he works with on a daily basis is granite, or shale, or sandstone, or limestone. All that the excavator cares about is that rare load, or that rare gem of the quartz, the topaz, the amethyst, the silver, the gold, the little good bits. And maybe I need to change my mindset to something similar, that I will dislike the majority of what I'm going to find here, and instead I need to find stuff that is good to offer commentary on, and just plow through it as best I can, knowing I'm going to be miserable the whole time. Okay, I'll try. I don't know how well I'll do, I can't always control my immediate reactions, but you have my word, I'll try. So, um, one thing in the spirit of doing that comes to mind right away. Um, in the, the prelude segment of this game, um, you know, going through the town, going through that little short time warp and what have you. Um, there were two pieces of heart left directly in my in my path, directly through the natural way that I would take, and kind of the railroaded segment of the game that I would have gone through at that point, understandably, because it's just the preamble of the game. Now, two pieces of heart. The other Zelda games that I'm familiar with will grant you whole pieces of heart for accomplishing some kind of objective. Um, but the, the, the pieces of heart, the, the quarters of heart, where you need to assemble four to get a whole heart container, I would never have expected in a million years to see those just in your normal path with some kind of minimalist, trivial gameplay challenge, like push a rock. <laughs> that's, that's what I had to do to get one of those pieces of heart. That's, or, or dig up a bit of dirt with a shovel. Um, and it's in plain sight. You don't even have to guess where the heart is to get dig it up with the shovel. It was just there, in plain sight, on my normal path. So, I think that alone, those two pieces of heart not requiring exploration or besting a significant gameplay challenge or beating some kind of objective, um, those two pieces of heart just being in my way, just being on my normal route, though that alone, I believe, speaks to the linearity that this game offers. And linearity in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing. Some of my favorite games are indeed linear. But um, I just wouldn't have expected it of a Zelda game. Even even the Zelda games that I like the most, that do give you a static obje objective to achieve, after a minimal tutorial section, they let you off the leash, and they just let you do whatever you want to. So, with that in mind, let's take on this game's first dungeon. What was it again? Spirit's Grave. 
I hope this actually is a dungeon and not just some, like, bizarro lip service to you walked through some rooms and then fought a dude. It's a dungeon. No, I want an actual dungeon, please. These guys aren't jumping away from my sword slashes. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get a... Yeah, I'm gonna get something to let me lift in this, aren't I? Okay. Boy, that's actually a little disappointing to be able to tell that so quickly. <laughs> um, in retrospect, the uh, those eyeballs are following me. That's a nice bit of window dressing, if nothing else. Um, in retrospect, the dungeons that I liked the best from um, Link's Awakening would have been um, the Eagle Tower and Turtle Rock. The first couple had some good things, um, like uh, Bottle Grotto and what have you. Can I push this? Ooh, that's cool. Is this thing flipping over as I push it? Okay, so I'm hoping that that graduates into a more complicated method of pushing things around. Like maybe... Because I'm seeing that I had a square symbol right side up every time I pushed it. Oh, oh it changes color, that's the thing. So it's got to be blue. All right, well, let's see if I push it to a different color if I get a different result. So, which color will this give me? Well, yellow gives me nothing. Let's walk up here, though. It's a dungeon map! Press select to see the darkened rooms up a dip a doo Okay, that's cool. This is just the first dungeon, so I'm okay with it being, like, super easy in its method of presenting me with my... I have to come out. Yeah. Presenting me with my map. That's all right. I don't mind. Oh... Being rigorous in my searching makes me want to try the other colors, too, but if... I, I guess I'll only do that if I have to. I'll come back to it. This is bizarre. These guys feel a little bit too easy to fight. That, that's not necessarily a complaint, because it could be that there'll be an upgrade to it, or this is just the first dungeon, and it's an easy enemy, so it's okay. So no biggie just yet, but it's it, it feels different is the only comment I would make because they don't jump back. What about this ghost dude and his kin who completely tortured me in the prior game? Yep, he takes a large number of hits. Ah, a key dropped, yay. This statue's got to have some purpose. Maybe I will lift it and throw it when I get whatever upgrade this dungeon has to offer. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, these four-way gates... I've seen these several places in Zelda games. Okay, been here, lol. Okay, please don't tell me it's a new feature. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh upriotously if you tell me it's a new feature. Locate chest and find keys. Is this a curtain? No. But... It's probably bombable, though. And Do I have bombs yet? I don't think I do. Nope. Let's try, let's try letting it on fire, though, just for fun. Nope. <laughs> he says nope, and then it works. All right, fair enough. Break the crystals with the sword, just like in the prior game. Ah! The snakes rush you. That hasn't changed. Mm, what's this? Ah, a ring. So, I remember making the complaint in the prior video that saying that something needs to get praised before it becomes useful is really no no better of a busy work mechanic than, than identifying items in Diablo and similar games. I hope that there's an actual gameplay reason behind it here. Ah, there's a key in here, according to the compass chime. Um, there's another thing that's worth mentioning. Maybe it's just here. Yes, it is. There's another thing that's uh, worth mentioning, that uh, somebody else actually totally called me on something, and I feel really embarrassed about it. Um, I won't go on before I finish talking about it. Um, so, I complained in the last video about, oh my god, text, 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 and then somebody said, UD, because you didn't even give the text boxes a chance, you missed a critical piece of information that made you rub your face against the ground like a fool using the wrong kind of seed that the game the game plainly told you was not the thing to use. Okay, so my normal response to that would be that being that the interactive, the the medium of gaming is intrinsically an interactive one, um, 
Tutorial information, if at all possible, should be placed in the more elegant format of gameplay. Um, gameplay, cues, visual cues, audio cues, blah blah blah, you've heard me say that before. Um, now, I, I, I appended to that, I can think of something that would be, I could think of nothing that would be more boring than making my viewers watch me read a tutorial. And I still, like, feel that way on an emotional level. That that just strikes me as, ugh, I would vomit in my wastebasket if I saw some lp or go like, hmm, okay, hmm, that's how rings work, hmm. But then somebody called me on it and said, you dig, come on. I would much rather waste time or spend time watching you read a tutorial than I would watching you waste time on a mechanic that was plainly explained that you refuse to get the explanation to. I would much rather watch that than watch you act like an idiot and go like, oh, it's not, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, that's a really good point. Um, well, I feel like an asshole now. So um, I've decided on a um, compromise. If I come across something that is obviously a tutorial and it's going to take a long time to read, I still will not make you watch it. Because all you guys have played this game before, and there's literally no use of your time in watching me do that. I'll break the recording, I'll read it myself, I'll go back and read it later off camera if I have to. And that way, I'll have, I will could just like summarize it in, in 20 words or less. Oh, what well, the tutorial told me to do is this thing, this thing, X, Y, B. Okay, great. And then move on with life. That's a good compromise, I think, right? Sometimes I feel like I discuss way too much time in, or take way too much time in my LPs discussing meta concepts. Discussing meta concepts so much that I miss really obvious things in dungeons that make me feel like an asshole. UD, the map is shaped like a face. That that's kinda clever actually, the way these blocks are structured. Because this means I can only have access to one side of the room at once. Interesting. There's bushes in a dungeon. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Eyebrow raised. Oh. Well, this will give me access to the other side as well. Bush is in a dungeon. That's very weird. Hmm. Would it have mattered which side of the room I went to first? Is this set up so that the first switch always activates this little uh, path, and then the other one always activate, uh, causes the chest to spawn? You found a small key! This game seems... These games seem so eager to indicate the size of my keys, and it's like, come on, man, that's not cool. I need to be able to lift before I can get in there. Actually, let's, let's use the map. It's there for a reason, right? Okay fairly simply shaped so far. Can I say, my impression of this dungeon so far is actually pretty positive. It's almost as if I left all the bullshit at the door and now i am got like some actual decent gameplay happening. Fucking these games. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just... Mixed asset syndrome upsets me. When you have good stuff in a game and I have to wa wade through endless piles of schlock to get to it. That's just... Cassia seed planted in soft. Aha! So that's the uh, type of soil that I was rubbing in my eyeballs in the prior video, going, <laughs> I'm so privileged. <laughs> now I know. Um, locked door or open door? Which would mother want? Speaking of, um, I'll go up first, I guess. Speaking of discussing meta concepts, um, I, I think the, the frame, oh, you, you, you son of a bitch, I hate that hand. I hate it in a good way. I hate it in a way that makes me want to kill it. And not more like the annoying, oh, why is this thing exist way that sometimes happens in video games. But, um, speaking of game meta concepts, um, I don't know. I don't know if it was the same in this game as in the last, but um, the 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 audio hiccuping seemed to occur way more frequently on this title than on the last one. At least that's my perception. On the prior video, it was infrequent enough that it didn't bug me, but on this one, it was getting way out of hand. So on an experiment, I changed the recording speed to 60 frames. I didn't think that would work as well, but it seems to be working flawlessly. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, mid-boss. 
See, this is interesting. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. I can't move. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Fuck you. You see, and this this is the game making good use of its media or of its uh, platform because it's allowing a larger arena, which allows for a greater combination of uh, <coughs> gameplay situation, positional situations, I should say. God, get off my face! So, yeah, I know the the regular Game Boy couldn't have done this. So the Game Boy Advance making use of its hardware to have a large arena like this. This is this is good. I'm liking this. Oh, God, no! <laughs> I wanted the fairy! Don't take me back to the start, damn it. I didn't mean to step in the portal. Okay, um, let's do the thing and win the points, I guess. Um, I think I've already done everything I can do over here, right? Yeah. The fairy's no big deal, I was only missing one heart. Okay, let me get back to an area I can actually explore. Here we are. Let us see if there's anything new to see, visually. Let us see visually, because there's any other way that you can see things other than visually. Every time I see those blocks, I feel just obligated to try pushing them, because why else would they be there? And sometimes they're there just for decoration or for clutter. There's got to be something under these things. Again, bushes in a dungeon. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just kind of confused as to why that would be a thing in regards to other things that are things. The a use of same scene scrolling. I know there's going to be a technical name for it that I'm not aware of, but you know, scrolling and uh, scrolling the camera, panning the camera in the same room, is allowing for a much larger, more cavernous feel. Even though I think the map is actually smaller than a lot of the ma uh, things I took on in um, Link's Awakening. So these are braziers. This apparently is my firepower in this game. So oh my, yay! Oh, there's a bangle. This, this terrifies me. I am upset and scared. Because do I have to have this thing equipped to lift stuff? Actually, now that I think of it, I've already grazed theoretically liftable objects and not gotten a pop-up that said, Hmm, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. How about you rub your dick all over it? So, here we go. I'm cringing, I'm cringing, I'm cringing. Da-da-da-da. You got the power bracelet. Hold the button. Boo. Okay, so yes, I do have to equip it. But at least I've not been getting the annoying pop-up, and that's a massive improvement. This I cannot say bad things about. I don't have a weapon equipped. <laughs> let's 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 remedy that. There. Yonk. Yonk. I can lift bots. This rectifies every plot problem in my life. From existential despair to obesity. Yep. Another ring. Get it appraised! Um, yeah, I gotta remember, my map is not on the start button anymore. This is the only place that has a chest left. Oh, this is an exit path, isn't it? Oh. Uh, <laughs> a pushable pot. Alright. I suppose it doesn't matter what the object is. As long as you can push. Boop, 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 boop. I will throw a clay aperture at you. Wait, oh, oh, that went over his head. So I have to throw... If I want to use it as a weapon, I have to throw it with respect to its landing spot. Okay. Ah, the nightmare key. Or boss key, or whatever jargon you want to use. Maybe Capcom tweaked the text slightly. Maybe this was a different translation. Maybe I should just shut my big fat fucking face. Who knows? Um, okay. Well, I have the treasure. I have the th three items. I know where the nightmare door is. I, I guess. Um, all right, let's go back up there, I guess. Uh, this is pretty much certain just to be some fluff or filler that doesn't really matter, but... Did I... I didn't need to lift those pots to get in here, did I? Oh, yeah, of course not. I've already been in that chest. <laughs> I'm smart. Alright, um... Oh, shizbiz. <laughs> okay. I guess this was right outside... Oh, fuck you, sir! Just because I paused to open the recording again. Ah, fuck me. That reaction was more out of surprise than true anger. Um, what? Oh, no! <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, I don't understand how his hitbox works. 
Okay, I'm not letting up on the buttons this time. I'm just walking right to the door. Right to the door. There we go. Uh, attempt number one on this dude, who's not giving me an opening monologue, apparently. Hello, Mr. Pumpkinhead. We got a Halloween-themed boss right out of the gate. Good guy, good lord. Only Yoshi is allowed to pound the ground, sir. Um, I was supposed to pick that up, wasn't I? Okay, pick it up and do what? Oh. Oh, it's his house. <laughs> okay, I'm actually liking that, uh... I mean, it's it's functionally... I mean, it's different. I had to figure it out differently. I just didn't... I didn't understand it right off the bat like I did the genie in Bottle Grotto. But, um... Functionally equivalent, but still clever, I'd say. Still clever. See, why can't Zelda games just be all this? Because this is the good stuff. This is the wonderful part. This is what I love. Why can't it just be all this? Why does there have to be irrelevant... I'm sorry, I'll stop. I'm getting into that shit again, and I know I shouldn't. What? Did I kill it? Oh my. I guess that's it. You got a heart container! Doodly 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 doodly. Just looking around the room so I don't end this prematurely, just in case there's... Hey, I'm an adventurer first and foremost. I'm gonna check the room for loot before I get the story-related shizbiz. This is... You got the eternal spirit, an essence of time. Even after life, life ends, it speaks across the time to the heart. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Wait, so what's the theme of the MacGuffins I'm gonna be gathering here? I I'm sure I, it would have been explained to me in... text in the prior video. Ah! 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 No! 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 Don't tell me things! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just afraid of another owl. It's me, the... Oh, it is. <laughs> uh, so it's in the western woods. Can you go there? Sure, why the hell not? That actually... That was fine. That was so... That was so quick. It was brief. It was short. It was to the point. It was relevant. If you have to have text in a game, then that that's a good way to do it right there. Like, I know that was equivalent to... Um, the little uh, uh, out-of-body experience, or whatever you want to call it, the brief flash where Link sees a, a mountain, go to the mountain! It's And that I was okay with. I never complained about that. It was Mr. Fuckface Owl coming down to tell me shit that I already knew, or could have uh, understood from other contextual clues in the game. That's okay! That's fine! <sighs> Why shizbiz gotta be like shizbiz? I don't even know. Something, 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 dig us so. We'll do another video next time. By, by definition, of course. Da 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 da.